Right, do a little bit more video. I always used to ref see that when I see that hill, it's full of blueberries usually and ant hills. Right, so we leave that part of the coombe now. We're merging with the other coombes. The coombe that I like, I've told you about, you go up there. What I've always called Holford Glen. It's probably not, but the thing is, we've always called it that. And uh, that's where it's a lot more quieter and remote up there. It's got wider streams though. There's a lot more for kids to interest children up there, up that way. This is more of a traveller route, this one, passing through on this on this one. But over there you get a path over there and go up, up there. Further down there's another coombe as well, but that's the one to go to Holford there. Yeah, the sun is still staying. It's not eight o'clock yet, is it? Anyway, it'd be, it's between eight and half past. Right now, this looks like a wild cat in there. Let me see. Where is it now? What's that? God, doesn't that look like a bloody cat? That is creepy. I'm going to have to... Look at that. seen that before. Maybe things come out at night. That is really creepy. i never seen that ever. Unless someone's carved it and put it there. Do you know what I mean? It's like a cross between an owl and a cat. I reckon someone's carved that, you know. i never seen that before. That is amazing. It's just a branch. Look. It's just a branch, but look at it. Like a cross between a cat and an owl. I'm just going to stop a minute and take a... Right. The last rays of the sun. Not quite the last, but I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, that, you come away from what, I'm coming back to that image of the, what I thought was the cat there. It wasn't, of course, it's just a bit of old bark off a tree. Here's the Babbin Brook now, getting a bit bigger. And uh, we say goodbye to that coom, which takes us up onto the top, to Bicker Noller Post. And anywhere else you want to go. You've got these streams here. And then, I, like I say, this carpet of lawn. That is always so special. It always looks like it's a carpet. You know, it really is special, that lawn area that goes. Because not many people use it. It takes you up to a very pretty glen. And I haven't been there for a while. I tend to go up that way because I'm getting up on the top. I am going to be going there shortly. That'll be another trip. I'm coming out the other end. So, there we go. This is the fork you've got to remember. If you want to go up the top, go up there. If you want to go up Holford Glen, go up there where all the streams are. Sometimes you can see deer here. Sometimes. They'll all be up the coop. They'll most of the deer will be down there, by the way. We'll start walking back towards civilization in a minute once we get a bit further up here. This isn't really very far now. Um, it's just a lovely way to end a day with beauty all around you. And there are lots, for, even from here, there are tracks up, if you want to go up. Get on the top, you can follow other tracks up round there, take you up. That'll take you up onto the top a different way, the other side of the coom. And then the other side of the coom there, there's another coom. And they're very, very beautiful. 
and then over the hill again, another coombe. Can I tell you what, we get some really spooky trees here, look at that. That looks like a one that's, you don't want to be out in the night with that one. You know what I mean? There's some very spooky trees. I mean, I had a photograph develop once, and it looked like there was a woman in a white dress. It was up here, carrying, without a head. She, she didn't have a head. We could see her legs and the whole rest of her body. And that was somewhere along here. But it was probably, of course, it was just the light reflecting off the white bark. But the thing was, it was so... It just really looked like a person with arms and legs. It was really strange. She could have been like a princess. She had a lovely white dress on. She looked very... There could have even been some sort of necklace or something. There was something very special about her. But I don't know exactly where. I'd have to bring the photograph with me. It's mainly oak down here as well, by the way. But you see, Henry VIII planted a lot of oak. It was to do with his hunting, and deer would have been put here. This was um, what happened. For some reason, the oak was planted because they needed it for timber for their, for their um, armadas, the navy. There's another way up you can go, up there. Or come down that way. And there's another coom up there. And of course, these streams are a lot fuller in the winter, by the way, or after a big storm. The babbling brook still. Various tributaries meet up. Come down this way. And of course the Huguenots were here, and the silk weavers, when they there was this mass exodus of Huguenots from France and Germany or what equivalent of what Germany was. Um they set up camp here, the Huguenots, because of the water. And they, there's, there's a still an existing mill in another coombe over, the, over there. Over, that, over there, there's actually a mill. There's still evidence of further down of the, of the cottages that the weavers had. I mean, how they knew about this, who knows, but they did. Now occasionally I have seen deer up here, but um, I think they're just getting the last of the sunshine now. They're getting the last of the sun. So this is a walk with Sheila on a beautiful summer's evening. I've been out all day. There's going to be lots of parts to this video. I don't know who's going to watch it because it's too far for Western people, but um, I can put it on the Bridgewater site, see? It's not too far for them. They would have come here with their school, and I expect a lot of Eastover people and Westover and Bridgewater people in general come up here. This is our our manor, if you like. But the streams are still quite quite low, really. I don't know how polluted they are or anything. I don't know if, I expect you'd have to boil them and put your special tablets in still. I'm just carrying on keeping the film rolling. We'll have another look up in the hill here in a minute, see if we can see anything. I was followed by a deer one day when I came into the wood this way. It kept on, it was following me up there for ages. First sign of a field coming up now, that means we're entering human territory. And uh, it's funny, I haven't seen nobody out. No dog walkers, nothing. I think there, people do keep away though because it's got a reputation for ticks up here and limes. It's got a reputation up here. I mean, I don't know, I, I, could, I could be bitten when I get, but you don't always know the first day. Because um, some of the tech 
specks are small. They're really tiny things. That, you know, like specks of dust that get you. And they do. They just get you. They get up, jump off a tree on you. Or if you did have to, say, wander in near that bracken, they could get you. So if I've got any, I won't be. I won't be surprised that I've kept away from the ferns. So we're coming up to the end of the the main part, and then we'll be joining the track, leading us back to cottages and Alberta. It's a pity I hadn't brought a hot drink, really. I could do with a good cup of tea. Now over there, there is a track that I've never explored. I know where it goes, though. It goes up into the Lady Lady Ridge Walk, or whatever it's called, at the top there. There, that is another way of getting up quick if you want to go that side. I know where it goes, but I just haven't got around to doing it. So here we are. This is really where you, I always seem to think this is saying goodbye time to Holford now. But it's not total, not until we leave the green. But, um... <sighs> I sort of say goodbye to it here. I've been coming here since I was a child. And I love I love the peace and the tranquility that it gives me. And you need it in your lives. You've got to get it somewhere. Now the problem happens what what happens when you get old. I'm hoping I'll be able to watch my videos and it'll keep me happy. Because there's a time will come where you can't do it. Well, you can't walk out here. See what I mean? You haven't got the energy or your bones are too weak. And uh, you just have to look at the videos. And there's the stream carrying on down. And there'll be more coming tomorrow, apparently. More rain. You can tell the weather is cooling. Although it was hot at midday, and I, but I was walking uphill, right? I was warm. I did put something on my head. So, but by about up was two, um, it was it was cooling already. It looks like an axe, doesn't it? Makes you wonder if something like that was an axe, don't you think? Or has that just been brought up here by, um... I mean, look at the shape of that. Or has that just been brought up by, um... Men putting some stones down on the path? I might keep that. I might keep that. As a souvenir of my walk. It's big enough for me to remember. But it probably just been... Every now and again, someone must come along and put these stones down, I think. Right, hold on, I'm just going to turn off a minute. Somebody coming.